Oh, yeah, we got some more celebrity cope. This time we're going to voice actors. Damien Mills, current voice of Frieza in the Dragon Ball franchise. Uh, I'm sure many of you know who Frieza is, even if you're not a quote-unquote anime fan. Most people know Dragon Ball. kind of ascends higher than anime fandom. Normies know Dragon Ball. There's a lot of people know it. It kind of... Like I said, it's in its own thing. It's so big culturally. Damien Mills has a lot of controversy himself, by the way. Uh, was very active during the whole Vic Mignogna controversy. Vic Mignogna, I think, in my opinion, pretty good guy. A lot of these voice actors wanted to run him out. Damien Mills was one of the more vocal voice actors on trying to cancel Vic. And uh, got into a little... Me Too situation himself. Nobody reported on it, talked about it. Kind of interesting. You really got to see that bias on how these people work. Like They don't go after their own, but they'll kick out people and stuff like that when they defy the group. But anyway, Damien having a hard time, a little hard time with the election. You can see he's been sharing hotline numbers for mental resources. I'm sure he's... Uh, been calling those himself because you can see that he's got a lot of cope we can start here on november 1st he went out and voted very proud of voting got a sticker there last day go vote and then later on <laughs> you can see it started to change i am stressed anxiously making biscuits while we wait for results and retweeted this because Ted Cruz won again. Ted Cruz left y'all to F and die how many times? Can't believe this many people in America are this effing stupid. And that was the last thing he posted during the election night. And he woke up. Good morning, everyone. What's on the agenda for today? And uh, posts his most iconic role of Frieza destroying planet Vegeta. And then the cope and the pain come out. I'm furious. I'm disappointed. I'm sickened. And honestly, just heartbroken this morning. What really stings is this was the first time in a long time that I had true hope for our country and was incredibly proud of the candidacy we had. I was ready to turn the page. <laughs> I'm ready to turn the page, too. On all this woke DEI bullshit. And I have a feeling identity politics might be going down the drain. Because I feel America has overwhelmingly spoken during this election. And instead of it being an eye-opener, then maybe all of these celebrities are out of touch, tone deaf. They choose to just quadruple down. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I hope they continue to quadruple down over the next four years. Uh, I'm going to be here for it because it's going to be fun to watch uh, them cry while prices come down and people start to make more money. Uh, here he is implying that he wants to murder people, which, okay, because that's what happens here. Frieza just murders his own crew for no reason because uh, he was mad. Oh, oh yeah, because that guy, forget his name says uh, maybe the Saiyans are too strong and he should ignore them. Uh, what are you implying here, Damien? And then he shared those. So he's not having a good one. And then we've got a Mass Effect writer. Very, very fun picture here. Uh, this person, as far as I know, didn't work on the game, right? But wrote this tie-in book for the worst game, Mass Effect Andromeda Nexus Uprising, the official prequel to the eagerly awaited video game from Bioware. Oh, if only the people that bought this book before the game came out knew. So, <laughs> she's not having a good day, or they. Not sure. He. Who knows? Uh, but this is over on that Blue Sky account. They're all over there. And this is why they'll all come back to Twitter, because all of these people have giant egos. Do you see the number of likes 
on this comment. And this is after 12 hours of being posted. One like, one comment, and it's their own comment. And the follow-up comment got four likes. This is why they all come back to Twitter. They all say, oh, we're leaving X. We're leaving X. We don't want to. We don't want to support that fascist Elon Musk. And then they all come rolling back. Why? Because they don't get any attention over on these other websites. So this tweet's not so bad. Talks about getting some sleep because they're going to want to be able to function. But this one is funny. I'm trying hard hard to restrain the vicious need to lash out at other people. I'm too furious, too spiteful, too exhausted, too flattened, too scared. And yet, I am incandescent with a rage that is only this damaged body and mind to house it. (laughs) What is this? (laughs) Listen, <laughs> did all these people just forget about his first presidency? Like, nothing happened. Nobody was locked up. Nobody got their rights taken away. It was nothing but actually good economic times, in my opinion. But all you ever heard from celebrities is whining, whining, whining bullshit. And I think it's going to be worse this year because they're realizing nobody pays attention or cares about them anymore. Unless it's in mockery, then people do enjoy that a little bit, it seems. But anyway, I wanted to show, like, there are some people having some fun. This is really funny. We're going to take it out with this one. Uh, This man's very concerned, very concerned, very concerned about what's going to happen. Donald Trump won, and I am very, very afraid that he might deport my mother-in-law. She entered illegally to the country, and she lives in a street four, number 47, apartment D, New York. I am very, very concerned. That's right behind the green apartment. Yeah. I have nothing bad happened to her. The gate is always open. You don't have any dogs either. It's street four. Number 47, apartment D. <laughs> now, <laughs> keep in mind, this is a fake address, I'm sure. The guy's just having fun. I just thought this was funny. And then he goes on to say, I don't know how I'll live without, without a... <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. What are your thoughts? How do you feel about all this delicious salt and cope? I'm enjoying it. I'm getting... Some high blood pressure going today with all the salt that I've been consuming. It's uh, It's been fantastic. Uh, let me know what you think about all that down in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.